Good early morning to you. Yesterday when I posted about the poppy seed pound cake that I've made for over 30 years, I woke up at 4 o'clock this morning, laid there, couldn't go to sleep, go back to sleep. So then I decided to get up, I read a little bit, and then I thought I want to go ahead and get this poppy seed pound cake made because we have a full day ahead of us today. So it is not even 5.30 in the morning, so mm, this is as good as it's going to get today. Excuse me for that. Anyway, um, this pound cake is one that my friend Kim Bagwell gave me the recipe to many years ago. I know I've been making this since Rick and I have been married, and we will be celebrating 30 years uh, in November. And so I was making it prior to that because I've known that girl since I was 17. But anyway, this is one of the easiest pound cakes you'll ever make, and it's one of the most delicious pound cakes. So, um, this also freezes well, and I have, I have done that for years. So, um, it's also a cake that's really easy to eat in one setting, so you have to be careful. But anyway, I'm going to, um, since Rick is in the next room in the bed, um, I'm not going to use my mixer, so I've just got a new little tool that I've, um, I love this little thing. I love kitchen uh, goodies like that. Anyway, let me get started here. I've already greased my pan, and I'm going to use my um, KitchenAid little toaster oven to bake it in, so I don't have to heat up my whole oven. But we're going to start with a um, just a regular cake mix. It's butter pecan flavor, so be sure it's that. And then we're going to add a small vanilla pudding and put that in there. Y'all, this is so easy and so delicious. I woke up this morning so hungry and I thought, ooh, I'm going to go ahead and put on a big old crock pot of um, homemade rice pudding. Yeah, I forgot it needs whole milk and I don't have any, so I'm not going to be doing that today. Um, now, what we want to do is we want to um, add a half a cup of oil. Went ahead and measured that out. So I'm gonna pour that in there. And to that, I'm going to add a cup of very hot water. So I'm gonna let my water run while I um, mix up four eggs. You have to have four eggs. So I'm just gonna scramble those up just a little bit. Let my water get really, really, really hot. This cake is so good. But I'm not going to slice it or it will never make it to Alabama while we're going on vacation. So, once it gets to room temperature, I will double wrap it. I'll show you a picture of it later. Let's see. So this is a half a cup of oil, so to get all that oil out, I'm going to go ahead and put um, hot water in this. One, two, half, and another, and that makes a cup. Okay, I'm going to mix that up a little bit. I just got my little kitchen gadget here. It smells so good. I don't know a lot of people up making cakes. And while I was looking for this recipe, I found another cake recipe I really want to make that I haven't made in a while. I don't know what I am, what's going on with me and all these cakes, these pound cakes. But they do freeze well. Okay, now I'm just going to empty my four eggs in there. And I'm going to add a fourth a cup of poppy seed. Now poppy seed can be expensive, but I usually buy mine um, at either Big Lots or I will buy them at Ben Franklin, my favorite store. One of my favorite stores. So I'm just gonna mix all of this up really well. And you're thinking, I don't know how that can be good, but believe me, it is delicious. And, of course, I'm using my old faithful gifted mixing bowl. Um, and I do have some, a couple of nice mixing bowls. But 
I don't know. I just really like this one. So, this is really, really easy. So, I have it all mixed up. It doesn't take long. This is easy clean, too. See, you don't waste a lot. So, here's what. Let me show you. Here's what your batter is going to look like. Of course. And um, I'm going to get a spatula so I can put that in my um, but, okay, pan. And I'm going to pour all this in there because I do not want to waste any of this deliciousness right here. So, make sure I've got all that down there. So, what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to pour go around my house is going to smell so good but what's going to be disappointing is when rent gets up he's going to like be like mm, that smells so good and i'm going to be like yeah we can't eat it right now we're going to eat it next week <laughs> i do like to have cakes and stuff desserts when i go camping especially for a week so that when my friends come over, my nephew, um, I have something to offer. Not only that, it's just comforting. And I'm making all these because when we go to Alabama, um, my nephew is a pastor of a church. You've heard me talk about him. And they are going to be in a three-day revival. And I've never heard this young man preach uh, that's coming. I heard he's a fireball. Heard he really knew the word and was very meaty. So Rick and I are looking forward to some church services there in Scottsboro, Alabama. And um, so I thought if I can, I might like to whip up a really good, hearty meal. I may have to make Brenda Gantz um, Squash Alabama. Because <laughs> it is delicious. If y'all haven't ever made that and you like squash. Well, Rick doesn't really even like squash, but he loved that. I love squash. Not much I don't love. Okay, I think I've gotten every poppy seed out of that bowl. Oh, wait a second. So, um, anyway, I thought about fixing a really good throw down meal for the pastor and my nephew and his boys and um and I thought well if I do that I'll already have desserts made so that'll be good um okay so here is the cake in there I've got it um wiggled around a little bit so it'll settle and now I'm going to bake this on um 325 and I'm going to bake it for 40 to 45 minutes. Probably in this oven, it's probably going to be about 40 minutes. So I can't stop and start on this particular video. Um, but I will post a picture of what it looks like later. Okay? Hope you all have a great day. And let me know when you try these. Okay? 